Hey, what's good YouTube? Nathan Mass Collector, back with another figure review. Uh, today's video, I have Faker. So I have my original Faker. Um, I mean, this guy is just trash, but uh, it's my original one from 1981. And uh, this is the Origins figure that just came out. And uh, we're gonna pop him open and compare the two. So um, I, I don't have his original um, armor no idea where that went i mean i played with these things a lot when i was a kid so you can tell he's pretty worn in his head even um i put just regular he-man armor on him which i think that you know i think that made more sense actually because it's supposed to look like he-man so yeah beat up dude but uh let's take a look at this guy and uh first the packaging same as the rest obviously same exact shell um the cardboard's pretty flimsy it looks cool you know it's totally um like they used to look on the, on the pegs when i was a kid that's for sure uh the back that's awesome artwork though it's so cool Ram Man, Manny Faces in there as well. So you can move his chest armor for robotic reveal. Twist into powerful paddle positions. And then he came out with uh, Fisto, Evelyn, and Merman, I think as a wave, so. Super cool. All right, let's take a look. Card somewhere in back for the artwork. But... Yeah. Oh, got a schematic. Removable parts, so you can move his head, his arms, his body, and his feet. Pretty cool little thing they add there. Uh, this comic sucker punch. Let's take a look at this quick. All right, land sharks in here. Fisto. Merman. Tiva. Look at all those fakers. Snake Mountain. I'm sure they're working on that right now. Lords of Power, Merman, Evelyn, Fisto, and Faker came in a wave. All right, so first thing, I love the fact that it has a full power sword. It's not a half piece or anything like that, but I guess that's where the sprue is at here. I'm just gonna clean this up quick. So that's pretty sick. All right, so one, his hair is just way too pink, I think. Um, I think it should look more this body armor orange color, which the body armor is nice and flexible, which is cool. It's a lot easier, I'm sure, to uh, buckle this stuff together. Um, but we'll see how he uh, moves around here with it on. Um, his head moves around. I do like the fact that it's a vintage, you know, somewhat similar to the vintage sculpt. Because there's, I mean, there's sim definitely similarities, but there's definitely differences in it too, as you can see. Hair is not the same. It's almost like there's a two piece, two pieces on here where this is just one, one, one piece. Yeah, so a little red on the hair here, um, but again, articulation wise, shoulders move, uh, elbows move hands 
The wrists do not, but the hands and arms swivel. Um, legs on the sides, ball jointed. Knees. This, this guy moves really nice. Uh, not super loose, but not super tight. And, uh, you know, his foot move around, his shins. So tons of posable points here for, for Faker. Um, doesn't have like a thing though. That's kind of like what we do, right? Just kind of slide it in there for his sword spot. But we'll take off his armor and take a look at his decal on his body. All right. So I'm gonna go close up there. Very cool. Super detailed, looks cool. Um, I really wish I would have been able to get one of those uh, battle damage fakers where it's like half his face was ripped off and you can see the robot underneath and stuff. I saw those roaming around online, but I don't think they ever had a release or not. But um, I like it. Except for the hair. I might actually just try to paint that a different color myself. Alright, get his armor back on. Fits on there nice and snug. And let's see how he holds his power sword. Wow, look at that. It's like they uh, improved the, the size of his hands a little bit. They made the Either that or they made the hilt here a little bit, um, the handle here a little bit thicker. So it's, it's not coming out of here, you know, it's, it's in there good. So, bravo, get that right. So there we have it, there's Faker, uh, New Origins. I like it, they did a good job with it. Looks great. Um, there's the original. Again, the hair's a little bit on the pink side here, but we can always paint that up if we had to. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it a lot, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I got more coming out, and um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Hit that like button give it a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you guys think and then hit that bell and you'll be notified of new content when i drop it all right guys and until next time see you later